Hi friends! It's Starry Circle time. Um, today we're going to read uh, a few more poems from Dirt on My Shirt by Jeff Foxworthy and then we have another book after. So here are our poems. Ready? This one's called Noises. Boing, boing, boing goes a happy kangaroo. Boing, boing, boing goes a happy frog too. Yip, yip, yip goes the puppy up the street. Tweet, tweet, tweet goes our little parakeet. Ding-a-ling-a-ling -a -ling goes a fire truck in a hurry. Wah, wah, wah goes my baby brother Murray. It's <laughs> a lot of different noises. Now this is a fun one, keeping, uh, keeping in line with our frog theme today. It's called Missing. I had a tadpole in a bowl, but now he's disappeared. Where he swam, a frog now sits. I think that's kind of weird. His tadpole turned into a frog, right? All right, and our last poem for today is called Grandma, and it's a pretty silly one, and it's a little short, but it's a good one. This one's called Grandma. My grandma puts on lipstick. It's bright red like a rose. Because she cannot see too well, it ends up on her nose. <laughs> that looks like a fun grandma. Okay, and now our book that we're going to read is Froggy Bakes a Cake by Jonathan London and illustrated by Frank Remkowitz. It's his book. It was Froggy's mother's birthday. Froggy was outside making mud pies. Froggy, called his father. What? Help me bake a cake for your mother. Oh, please, cried Froggy. I want to do it all by myself. So Froggy flopped into the kitchen. Flop, flop, flop. You'll need flour, said his father, and sugar and chocolate. I know, cried Froggy, and he pushed his chair against the counter and climbed up. He took down the flour. He took down the sugar. He took down all the chocolate candy his mother had hidden since Halloween. We need lots of flour and sugar, said Froggy and he dumped a large bag of flour and a whole box of sugar into a big yellow bowl. We need lots and lots of chocolate, said Froggy, and he dumped in 10 handfuls of chocolate-covered flies. Ooh, chocolate-covered flies. We need milk too, said Froggy's father. I know, cried Froggy. And he flopped to the fridge, flop, 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 and grabbed a carton of milk. Oops! It dropped on his foot and spilled. And eggs and butter, added his father. I know, said Froggy, and he snatched a carton of eggs. Oops! He only broke four or five. <laughs> and just one stick of butter fell on the floor. Don't forget the baking powder, said his father. I know, cried Froggy, and he climbed up and took down the baking powder. Then he cracked seven eggs into the bowl. Crack, 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 crack. And only a few shells fell in. And he put in the butter, bloop, and poured in the milk, bloop, 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 bloop. And finally, he dumped in the whole box of baking powder. Shoop. Oof. Time to mix it all together, said his father. I know, cried Froggy, and he stirred it and sopped it and mixed it and plopped it. Then he dumped all the goopy cake batter into a cake pan and shoved the cake into the oven. And he sang, Oogly boogly burbly bake. I make and I bake and I wait for the cake. <laughs> Frog, 
doggy, called his father. What? While you wait for the cake to bake, help me blow up the balloons. <laughs> Froggy helped blow up the balloons. He blew and he blew and he blew and blew. Pop! Whoops. <laughs> now, said his father, help me set the table. Froggy helped set the table. Oops! He knocked over the lemonade and the paper party tablecloth got all wet. Froggy! called his mother. What? What smells so good? It's a surprise! yelled Froggy and he flopped back to the kitchen. Flop, flop, flop. Come and get it! hollered Froggy. Froggy's mother and father flopped in whooshed, and slid across the buttery floor. <laughs> and Froggy said, Are you ready? And opened the oven door. Ooh, look what's happening. Yikes, the cake exploded, yelped Froggy's father. Oops, cried Froggy, looking more red in the face than green. Too much baking powder, I guess. It's good, though, said his father, licking his fingers. Wait, cried Froggy. I'll be right back. Flop, flop, flop. Happy birthday, Mom, he said, and he handed her a fresh mud pie with a candle in it. I made it all by myself. Oh, Froggy, said his mother. This is the best, uh, birthday pie I ever had. What a mess, said Froggy's father. Let's go out to celebrate. Great, said Froggy. Yes, said Froggy's mother. And together, they leapfrogged all the way to the bakery. Flop, flop, flop. <laughs> the end. All right, my friends. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and I'll see you later. Bye.